Something truly amazing is happening right now for the Bitcoin price. Elon Musk changed his Twitter bio to hashtag Bitcoin and the Bitcoin price has been skyrocketing upwards ever since. Can this sustain? And if so, how high is the potential target for Bitcoin to climb? Let's dive in and analyze. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. One single four hour candle pumped the Bitcoin price up over 19%. Savage, heinous, borderline ludicrous, if you do in fact ask me. We need to jump right into the analysis right here, right now. But of course, before we begin, if you could smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm, thank you for that. And if you are brand new, welcome to the most realistic Bitcoin technical analysis channel you are ever going to find. Hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, select all, and let's Let's get this crypto. Welcome to the channel. So, I mean, folks, over the past several streams, I have been outlining the potential bearish warning signs written on the wall here. We were still in the midst of a serious downtrend, a series of lower highs, right? You see this. Finally, Bitcoin has been able to break this resistance trend line, break to a new higher high to negate this series of lower highs here, right? This is big news here. And right now, I mean, it appears that the catalyst behind this move was Elon Musk changing his Twitter bio to hashtag Bitcoin. I mean, this... To me, folks, this is pretty amazing. I mean, we've seen Elon talk about Bitcoin briefly before, right? Nothing too serious. Um, for him to change his bio here to hashtag Bitcoin in the midst of the uh, traditional market frenzy. I mean, if you guys are not aware right now, we have seen absolutely incredible things happening with GameStop. I mean, very, very controversial topic, but... It's, it's an absolute market frenzy right now. We're seeing GameStop up, you know, over a thousand percent in a very short amount of time. We've seen the same type of thing occur here with AMC. Absolutely insane. Uh, Nokia as well. We've seen this. The market right now is, is doing very irrational things, especially um, in spaces where they are rather even on these stocks where these trades are being dominated by retail traders. And as we should all know, Bitcoin is a heavily retail trader traded asset. Okay. So right now with Elon changing his Twitter bio to Bitcoin, you know, it seemingly has sparked another speculative frenzy by retail traders. And we can see he did have a follow-up tweet here after. I mean, we can't say for certain this is what he's talking about, but I'm personally speculating that Seven hours ago, he tweeted after he changed his bio and says, quote, in retrospect, comma, it was inevitable, end quote. So I guess that he's alluding to the fact that when he changed his bio, we saw the Bitcoin price skyrocket. OK, um, you guys know that with all of the potential bearish signs written on the wall here, right, that I was speculating short, I told you. My friends have a plan because this could rocket ship up or it could absolutely plunge down. We were squeezing into the apex of this pennant and a break in either direction in a large way was certainly possible. For me, the way that I mitigated my risk with my short, I took a very small position size. I placed my stop loss above the pennant, right above the downward sloping resistance line, which for me would be a confirmation of bullish momentum. I have now exited that trade at a, at a small loss and I'm ready to get back on the horse and look for my next trade position, right? No emotion, nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, we did get this pretty, uh, you know, insane insane catalyst here. Uh, you know, you can't account for these things. Technical analysis cannot account for Elon Musk changing his Twitter bio to hashtag Bitcoin with no prior announcement of that, right? So now with that being said, you know, taking all of the emotion out of it, what are we seeing here in the chart? Right? And this is what we need to get to right now. So clearly we broke the downward sloping resistance line. But you can see here that we do have this upward sloping channel that was really relevant all throughout this pennant formation. To begin the pennant, right, we had resistance, support, resistance, support, 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 support. Then over here, look twice, resistance, resistance. And right now at the time of recording, look at where our local resistance has come in on our last two four-hour candles. Ding, ding, ding. Chicken wings for dinner. Tofu if you're vegan. Right at the top of this channel line. So for me now... 
if we are going to see this action sustain in a super bullish fashion, I would love to see the Bitcoin price stay inside this channel and look to break above it and consolidate above, right? This would be super, super bullish. That to me is the most bullish posture and formation that Bitcoin could form right now. Because if we do see it fall back below here, right? Uh, and start to use it as resistance. I mean, this could wind up being one gigantic fake out on the back of this, you know, hype catalyst that we saw, you know, earlier today. So, I mean, from the front of, uh, is this truly now looking extremely bullish? Uh, and is the bearish sentiment gone? It's very tough to say here, folks. And you see that, that sometimes here, technical analysis just doesn't paint the full picture, right? Um, because there are no certainties or guarantees in trading, right? Even what appears to be the best trade setup in your uh, in your mind can wind up being a loss, right? It can, it can be a failed trade such as mine was over here, right? Um, so right now, I basically need to see what's going to occur here inside this channel. For me, the channel is the most important factor right now. If we break above, consolidate, maybe we look to really move to a new higher high, okay? Um, and if we break below and use it as resistance, this could be a fake out and we could look to resume the bearish downturn from our 42K top. But let's discuss right now, since this does look more bullish than bearish, now that we've broken the pattern, we are at least inside this channel right now, right? So we've done confirmation number one. Right now, we're in the channel, which is confirmation number two, and we're looking for possibly confirmation number three, which would bring us above the channel for a consolidation to then possibly look to rip higher. And where are the targets, you may ask, for this? Well, that's what we're going to discuss right here, right now. So let's look at some possible bullish targets here for Bitcoin moving forward forward. And if you are enjoying thus far, that thumbs up would be so greatly appreciated. Thank you for that. And if you're brand new, you see what you get here. Welcome to the most realistic Bitcoin technical analysis channel you're ever going to find. Hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, select all, and let's get this crypto. Welcome to the channel. So now there are two targets in particular that I want to look at here. Okay. And for me right now, that is this bull flag target. Okay. Because at the end of the day now, right, this does appear to possibly be a bull flag, right? At first, you know, several weeks ago at this point, or rather even earlier this week, uh, yeah, about a week ago, right? This looked like it could have been the flag pattern up here, right? And then it got negated. We broke down, things changed. The pennant changed. It took a different shape, right? And it became this descending triangle, which is now broken to the upside. So right now, I am definitely seeing the possibility here that this could be one gigantic bull flag, right? Even if it was, even if we did break above resistance just purely because of that tweet and the hype behind it, it really doesn't matter. If there's follow through bullish action here, I mean, say we didn't know about that, uh, the, the Twitter bio change, say we didn't know anything about it, right? The analysis right now is still the same. We have seen a bullish break. We, you know, we're waiting for further follow through, but this could be a bull flag. So let's take our measured move, which is the size from the breakout, right? Back down here at about 20,000, all the way up to our prior high. We will then drag this over here to the breakout point, which is also now confirmed as the breakout point, right? So we can stick it right at the exact area of the breakout, okay? And now let's zoom out. Keep in mind, this is on the logarithmic scale here on my chart, okay? This gives us a relative extrapolated potential target up around $56,372 USD on my chart. Absolutely incredible if that were to potentially play out. Also, the second target. Notice this right up here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? This is the 1.618 golden Fibonacci extension target. OK, this is pulled from the top of the last all time high bull cycle up at roughly around 20,000. I believe it was 19,666 down to the relative low here, which I believe was about three thousand one hundred and something dollars. OK, I have the exact coordinates pulled up right now, so don't worry. OK, we could see here that the Fibonacci logarithmic 1.618 ratio is up at 61,326. So for me here, we do have a nice little rectangular range of potential bullish targets to look at, right? And that is basically from that first target up at about 56,000 for the potential bull flag, all the way up to about 61,000 based upon the Fibonacci 
logarithmic scale extension target. Let's get this crypto. Okay, so there are certainly some very large potential targets here. And let's just take a measured uh, percentage tool here to see what that would potentially look like. Up to the 56K target, that's roughly a 63% climb to the upside. And up to the FIB is roughly almost an 80% rip to the upside. Now, keep in mind, these do not have to happen. I'm just showing you where uh, speculators could potentially look to push this thing and maybe take profit around. Uh, the 1.618 to me is where potentially algorithms may look to push this up and take profit around. I'm just putting these on your radar because there are at least some tangible things inside the chart to, to look at when we're looking for bullish targets, right? Let's get this crypto. Now, let's just briefly as well, my friends, discuss what happens here. Maybe if we were to drop down, right? Say that we lose support of this channel here. Let's go back to the four hour. Say we lose support of this channel. We drop below, we bounce, we find resistance, we drop. I mean, for me at that point, I'm still chalking this up to potentially being a fake out in a downtrend, okay? And still the trap door right around here at the bottom of the triangle, right? Basically around 28,000. If we lose that, that's still a possibility for me that we could be headed down towards the twenty-five to $20,000 range, which would be a savage, heinous correction. And I still at this point think that that would be quite normal. So you could see how from a technical analysis perspective right now, this is very difficult to look at, especially with, you know, just catalysts that we can't prepare for in advance, right? There's no way to know that this was going to happen and that Elon was going to change his Twitter bio, uh, you know, just at random and cause this super hype uh, pump in the Bitcoin price, right? Um, and of course, you know, we can't say that that's directly the only thing leading to it. Uh, but, you know, it is pretty uh, spot on in terms of when that change occurred and we were getting rejected here. Look, lower high, right? Came in, uh, you guys know I've been following the Keltner channels, which on the four hour time frame, look, the top called our first drop, top of the channel, our next drop, top of the channel, next drop, top of the channel, next drop. We got to the top of the channel here and the downward sloping resistance line of the pennant and still held as a lower high, right? I was still looking at this from a short perspective. Then we began to drop a swift drop. Look at this. Okay. Look at this drop here. Drop almost 7% to the downside with all of the bearish uh, attributes there. And then we get the Twitter bio change and whoops, right up, you know, roughly almost 19% to the upside in a, in a single four hour candle. So, you know, right now I'm just going to watch for the follow through action here on the Bitcoin chart. I need to see how the market is going to respond to this because, you know, this was pretty unprecedented here. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see the follow through action. That's the only way that I can continue to look for a perceived edge for myself via technical analysis to potentially get this crypto, right? Um, and a as I always say, right, there are no certainties or guarantees in trading, right? Even what you perceive to be the best trade setup can lead to a capital loss, right? So for me right now, um, technicals, this, this is a difficult range here for technicals, right? Um, fundamentals, we all know that things are, you know, for Bitcoin, I love the fundamentals behind Bitcoin. Um, but from a realistic trading perspective, I do think that this trade is still in a very risky area overall with extreme FOMO, parabola and greed. Um, I still think it's very possible that we could potentially be in somewhat of a complacency stage here, even if it's just a miniature market cycle, right? Where we've already seen our euphoria. We're now potentially in the complacency stage. And then we see a sharp sell-off, maybe back down to 20,000, right? Or, or 18,000, somewhere around there. Um, it seems like it's all over. And then we we look to build back into the disbelief phase and run again, right? I certainly think that's at least a possibility. So right now, uh, as I stated, I've got my eyes on the prize. I will be watching this market around the clock like a hawk with an eagle eye. Um, and right now, you, you see, right, as this market's potentially changing here again, right, my analysis has to adapt um, you know, I've been pointing out all of the bearish warning signs here from both micro and macro perspectives. And right now, sure, some of them have be began to change here, right? We're seeing the beginning of something potentially bullish, and I'm completely open to getting back on the bullish train if I see more confirmations come in. Um, but just because this occurred here today, I'm still not writing off all of the other potential bearish warning signs, um, 
you know, that I've been covering here on this stream. So right now I'm very neutral. I'm in no position right now. I told you I've already closed my short upon this candle, uh, breaking the downward sloping structure. You know, my position sizes, keeping them very small right now as the volatility is completely irrational. Um, for me, it, it appears almost as if no stop loss is safe. And that's both to the upside and to the downside, right? Just imagine, right, on this downside action here, you have a stop loss, goes right back up to your entry. Over here, you have a stop loss, goes right back up to your entry. Um, you know, it's very difficult right now in choppy market conditions with absolutely insane hype catalysts such as what we've seen here today. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on the ball here. Um, and I'm going to monitor this price action to see what happens with the follow through and look to reposition myself to potentially crush this market and get this crypto. So on that note, I will keep you all updated in VIP around the clock with all of my personal trade setup ideas, entry ideas, exit ideas, potential take profit ideas as I look to potentially crush this market and get this crypto. If you're not already in my VIP, today is the day. It's time to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe. Let's get this crypto. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. One last time, if you could, folks, for the YouTube algorithm, I really would appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you for that. And if you're brand new, don't miss any more of these critical Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum analyses. Let's actually briefly, before I wrap this up here, I almost forgot when I just said that, I want to show you guys the Ethereum chart real quick as well. Just know that for me right now, we are seeing weakness still here on the Ethereum chart, right? We didn't even get back up to our prior high here. We still could be trading in a potential descending, rather, excuse me, a potential rising wedge pattern formation with a measured move target all the way back down to the potentially $800 range. Now, this doesn't have to occur. Nothing like that has to occur. I'm just stating that if the Bitcoin rally does not sustain, okay, that it would not surprise me to see Ethereum possibly backtest this critical, critical confluence range, which dates all the way back into 2017, okay? In terms of upside targets, uh, you know, for me right now, we need to see Ethereum then break to a new all-time high, get out of this potential rising wedge pattern. It needs to break out of this pattern, okay? It needs to get out of here. As long as it's still in here, I still think there's always a possibility for a retest back down possibly towards 800 USD. If it can break out of this structure, wonderful. I'll reanalyze at that time. Um, it doesn't look horrible to me, right? Doesn't doesn't look really too, too bad. It's just that uh, we still are possibly in a situation here where if the Bitcoin price does see a failure, right, at this at this region and this does take the role of a fake out and we do see this roll over back down into here, uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me to see Ethereum potentially perform poorly in that scenario as well. Let's get this crypto. So my friends right now, uh, I will see you all in VIP right now after this video. And if you could, Seriously, that thumbs up is greatly appreciated and welcome to the most realistic Bitcoin technical analysis channel you are ever going to find. Hit that subscribe button, tick the little bell, select all, and let's get this crypto. I will see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto. And until next time, my friends, the dawn has spoken. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs. Oh, and beware of the fake Kirby imposters down in the comment section. I will never post a phone number on your comment. I will never send you any type of unsolicited email. That is not me. You can see the two examples down below. They have the same name as me, but they're posting phone numbers. They're using very weird typing to get around the spam filter. That is not me. This is an example of my real comment here. You can see the nameplate has a gray background to it, and I do leave a creator heart next to the thumbs up. So you can validate that that is me. I generally only post the VIP information in a pinned comment. So you know that is me there. My friends, don't fall for any of the fakes. Be smart. Be safe. I'll see you in VIP right now after this video. Let's get this crypto.
The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video was presented solely for informational and entertainment purposes and is not to be construed as a recommendation, solicitation, or an offer to buy or sell any securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, or any related financial instruments, nor should any of its content be taken as investment advice. Crypto Kirby is not a financial advisor. The views expressed in this video are completely speculative opinions and do not guarantee any specific result or profit. Trading and investing is extremely high risk and can result in the loss of all of your capital. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice. Crypto Kirby is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. Crypto Kirby may have an interest in the securities, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. Crypto Kirby accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. Crypto Kirby recommends that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment or trading decisions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.